come back to C++, and we're in Example 6, Unit 4. So what do we know? A box of cookies can, can hold 24 cookies, and a container can hold 75 boxes of cookies. So what are we doing? Write a program that prompts the user to enter the total number of cookies. The program then outputs the number of boxes and the number of containers to ship the cookies. Notice each box must contain the specified number of cookies, and each container must contain the specified number of boxes. So, if the last box of cookies contains less than the number of specified cookies, you discard, the, you discard that, right? Then you have to output the number of leftover cookies. In the same way, if the last container contains less than the number of specified boxes, you can discard it, and you output the number of leftover boxes. So it looks like we're going to be using the modulo. We're going to be doing integer constants, you know, for the number of cookies in a box, and then a number of boxes in the container. And then when we have stuff left over, we're going to use the modulo and pick, to, pick up the remainder. And then we'll, it, it's going to be pretty straightforward, you'll see, okay? So, first thing we want to do is we want to input the program constants. So, we know that the number of cookies in a box is 24. So, let's write that. Okay, we also know that the number of uh, boxes in a container is 75. Let's write that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is declare our variables. So we need to establish the number of cookies, the number of boxes, and the number of containers. So we're going to have an integer to hold the leftover cookies and an integer to hold the leftover boxes. So that's about five things we're going to declare. So let's uh, have an integer for the number of cookies. Now let's have an integer for the number of boxes. Now let's have an integer value to hold the number of containers. Now let's have an integer value to hold the number of leftover cookies. Now let's have an integer value to hold the number of leftover boxes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to accept the user input. So I'm going to ask the user to tell me the number of cookies. Next I'm going to put in to the input the number of cookies. Now I'm going to give myself an extra line here, just so I'm just going to have a C out end line. So now I need to do the program logic and output statements. I'm going to have a formula to figure out the number of boxes I'm going to need. So I'm just going to have the number of cookies divided by the number of cookies in box, right? Since it's an integer division, I have the remainder left, so I've got to grab that remainder and put the remainder into our variable called leftover cookies. Now you see I'm using uh, divide, uh, the modulo division. Looks like a percentage sign, but it works like division. I'm just grabbing the leftovers here. So now um, I'm going to figure out how many containers I'm going to need. I'm going to divide the number of boxes by the container capacity. Now I'm going, since it's also integer division, I'm going to grab the leftover boxes and put them in that leftover boxes uh, variable I made. So now since I've done all my math, now I'm going to just tell the, the user how many uh, boxes of cookies first. So see, I just told them the number of boxes is how many, you know, you need. So now we're going to determine if there's any leftover cookies. So if there's no leftover cookies, it's zero. So if there are leftover cookies, it's going to be some number greater than zero. So I'm first going to write if the leftover cookies are greater than zero. If that's true, I'm going to print out how many are left over. 
Now I'm going to tell the user how many containers he's going to need. So now we're going to see if there's any boxes left over. If you know, person has to check to see if leftover boxes is greater than zero. If this is true, we'll just tell the user how many boxes are left over. And that should do it. Let's run the code. Total number of cookies. Let's put in 256. So I need 10 boxes of cookies. Leftover cookie is 16. I don't need any containers. <laughs> I guess I need more cookies than 256, right? That's it.